Well, it's a Walmart shopping trip among other places today, you guys. Uh, Katrina here with Gal Gone Camping. And uh, so what I'm trying to find, you know, I told you I'm doing, I'm redoing the minivan camper, my little micro camper. And currently for my bed, I am using an, uh, a lawn chair. It's the old style original retro, I mean, it's a retro lawn chair with the uh, webbing. It's aluminum, it's lightweight, and I love it. But the problem is, well, I had two of them. And uh, one of them ended up getting broken. And um, so the one that I do have is being used as a bed in the minivan right now. But I want something, um, uh, I want to free up that mainly. And I want to um, get more like a cot, but it's going to have to be streamlined. Or another lawn chair that is like a, um, you know, without a handle on it. That's one. That's another thing about the uh, one I'm using now. It's got a hand, It's got an armrest. Is what I'm trying to say, uh, which is great if you're using it for um, lounging, like it's intended to. But if you're using it like for a bed, uh, that arm gets in the way when you're trying to move around. So, and like I said, on the edge and stuff. So I need one. Just like I'm going to turn this around. Now this would be great. Uh, I, I know. It, I know my measurements. And I know what I need to get, but I'm going to turn this around and show you. So, uh, before, at a different Walmart, I saw that they had the Coleman cots. And I believe they were a little bit too wide uh, for what I was looking for. And this would be absolutely fantastic. This is Ozark Trail brand, which I love, Ozark Trail. And it's only like $44, $54. Uh, and see how that is just straight, it has no handles. Just like a lounging chair and it is adjustable so you could still use it outside you could even adjust it to raise up if you wanted to be uh, recline a reclining position instead of flat so that's awesome the problem is when you look at the um where's it at yeah when i looked at the measurements the um here it is The length is perfect, the width is perfect, 25 inches, um, but you see the height, the underneath, see how low it is to the ground? That's only 8 inches, and 8.4 8 inches high, so that's going to limit what you can put under it. Now the one I have now, I have things under it, and I think it's a little bit, I want to say that the one I have now is like maybe 12 inches off the ground i think and i meant to measure that part before i left and i forgot it um and i found one i've been doing a lot of research on that too and i did find a cot it's walmart.com you know this is the problem you know i do you know i don't mind to order stuff but this this is why you know shopping at a store it's just they don't carry a variety you just can't find what you need so, uh, I think in looking at that one, uh, it was only like, it's still a good price. That one was like $62 and something. And it, it was, a, I don't remember the brand, but it was the perfect measurements. And it was like, I believe 13 inches off the ground. So you're talking about what, from eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, you're talking about five inches difference. And that's going to mean a lot when you're storing like bins of stuff underneath or, or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. As much as I would like to go ahead and get this today cause I want to get busy on um, on doing the, the redo on the camper. And that's the main thing is the bed. And this, you guys. So years ago, I had bought at a Walmart. It was a, a um, 12 volt cooler, but it had the AC adapter and it was a lot more better quality than this um but i have not seen this this is new this is by igloo and if you can see this right here this is pretty cool um it is an iceless uh 12 volt um cooler i have never seen this I, i've never seen this by igloo and the only problem is you can see the the, the little 12 volt adapter is in there but that's all it has 
Now, I read the booklet that that's in there, and it was showing that there was a, a AC adapter. It said it may be inside the cooler. Well, it's not. And after reading on the box, it does not show the AC adapter. There's nowhere on the box that it shows that, and I'm sure that if it this model, this particular model had it, that it would be showing it on the box. But it doesn't anywhere on there. But y'all, and it's $99. So the one I'm looking at, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, the one I, I had pretty much decided to get is from Walmart.com. And, oh, let's see. I, I forget the brand. It's not Alpacool. It's, um, gosh, I can't remember now. But it was like $260. And it was uh, uh, where, it, you know, it had the re freezer setting, too, to where it wasn't both. It wasn't refrigeration and freezer, which is hard to find. And they're um, a lot more expensive. Where they have, where you can separate the compartments and, and you have two different controls. Um, and I, I, I kind of wanted that. But when I got thinking about it, I really don't need that I don't think and um, so I'm gonna probably go with the one I, I found $262 and um, it has the adapter of course you can plug into you know 110 then it has the 12 volt and it's a lot more sturdier it's a little bit bigger um, and the other thing you got the main thing I was looking for this also narrows down the, the choices in the uh, refrigeration, the little portable refrige um, cooler things, uh, was the lid that opens up on the side. Like, you know, most of them, you know, has the lid where you open from the front. You know, most of them all has that. So I want one that opens from the side. And that way, you know, you can get to it from either end. That's very important. Um, to me with my setup because I want to be able to uh, I'm going to try to position it where I can cook uh, from inside or outside is what I want to do which means a refrigerator would like to n need to be nearby and I would be able to raise that lid and get to it from either side from the inside or the outside and so that narrows my choices way down <laughs> but now I'm telling you this right here um this little model for a hundred dollars i mean and not have to fool with ice uh but now this that's not bad it's really not bad for somebody who's looking for just that but uh apparently some of these and you can probably look this up on walmart.com or the igloo uh, site um so that that manual in there was showing that apparently other models i think does have the little um uh, 110 adapter where you can plug it into a regular uh, outlet so that would make a huge difference uh, of course you know you could put you know you could use a converter you could uh, and, and plug it in you know uh, to you could use your soul uh, your power station on this too with the uh, 12 volt but still um, for me this is just not doable and neither is the pot unfortunately I was hoping I could maybe uh, at least get the cot here today but I'm not I'm just gonna go with what I found I took a lot of time to to research that and I believe I have found exactly what I need so um and it, I mean it may turn out I'm gonna I'm gonna measure and they've got plenty of them here at this store um I mean the length and the width is perfect for this and it seems sturdy it seems sturdy and I'm going to be putting a mattress on that on top of that and I, it would work fine it would absolutely work fine it's just the i know it's going to be too low off the ground i'm almost uh i'm almost certain that the one i've got now is like about 12 inches off the ground and and the one i'm going to uh, probably get online is 13 inches so that may that makes a big difference but anyway i'm just doing a little shopping trip here at walmart today <laughs> And I always go through the camping section to see what they do have new. And um, so I just thought I'd bring you guys along. And that is a new, uh, apparently a new item. Um, I haven't seen it before. But, it, you know, I'm sure it would be really neat for some uses. But for me, um, 
I'm going to need something a little more substantial. So, um, here is another model. I, I think it's the same thing. No, it's the same thing, you guys. I thought they had another one that had the AC adapter, but apparently that's the same thing. Anyway, all right. Uh, the one I had years ago, I was on a trip and it quit working and I don't I don't know I you know we were on that trip and I didn't I didn't know if it could be fixed and we kind of ditched that uh, that's been years ago but you know I haven't seen them since in Walmart not that not that particular kind I had um, but anyway of course they've come out with all these portable coolers and fridges now but anyway just want to bring you guys along and um, I'll show you what else I got in a minute stay tuned Hey you guys, I found another item that I've needed for some time. If you've, uh, I think I put it on my, on the Galvan Camping Facebook page here back earlier this year, whenever it was. Uh, coffee pot, my little electric coffee pot that I've had forever and ever. I mean, since I started van camping in my high top, my first high top van in 2008, I had that little uh, miniature <laughs> Mr. Coffee uh, pot and it, finally bit the dust and I just missed it terribly um, so you know when I have uh, shore power when I'm using electric uh, like my little electric coffee pot and when I don't um, I usually use my uh, butane stove with the, and just boil my coffee with the Folgers pouches but the pouches will work in anything in the little um, in the coffee pot uh, regular coffee pot or um, just a kettle or anything but look what I found it won't work Yep, I think the one I bought all those years ago was $15. This one is $10, bucks, nine eighty-eight, and it's black. I like that. The one I had was white, and nothing white doesn't match anything. I'd like to keep a certain color scheme if I could. And uh, so this is awesome. Big score on that. So woohoo! I'm replacing that finally. I'm trying to get things all um, finished up in this van before um, I hit the road. But the most important thing, of course, is that bed and uh, uh, hair pretty soon, that refrigerator. So anyway, good to go with the little coffee pot now, so moving on. <coughs> hey, y'all. So I just checked out at Walmart and got another little item that I needed. Right here, got a little battery-operated candle. I have some of these at home, and I absolutely love, love, love those. And... Um, this is going into the minivan micro camper and I'm probably going to get some more of those later but for right now I just got this one battery operated and uh, I actually do have a set too in my home that is that is um, remote control and those are pretty cool but for right now I'm just getting this one and then gotta have the essentials y'all yeah, I gotta put that natural blonde back in my hair, so you know what I'm saying? You gotta do what you gotta do. You know, I colored my hair for years. It was blonde when I was little, and then as I got older, it turned dark, and I colored it for years. But when 2020 hit and all the salon shut down, first time ever in my whole life that I used box color and did it myself. I was scared to be. <laughs> but. I mean, it don't look right right now, but it has been doing pretty good. And the, I know there's hair stylists out there that are cringing, knowing that I'm doing that. But um, it's working for me so far. And you know, when I get on the road someday, where am I going to find a uh, somebody to do hair color? I'm not going to fool with it. I'm not going to do it. This is good enough for me, and it's going to work. So anyway, my shopping trip at Walmart successful today, and um, I'm going to stop at maybe a couple other places and see if I can get a few things I need so anyway just bringing y'all along and stay tuned uh, if I find anything cool I'm gonna share it with you see you later